Hi, I want to show you a little idea I got uh, the other day. I've uh, just recently bought this uh, RAM mount, easy roller mount uh, for the Galaxy Tab 2 Active Pad that I will be using for navigation on my Tenere 700. Uh, unfortunately, the holder is not IP class, uh, which I didn't know when I bought it. I assumed it would be watertight, uh, at least for rain and since it said it was for rugged conditions. Uh, well, it is not. And I've heard uh, quite a lot of complaints about uh, the charging in this, since it's charged with uh, what uh, Ramont called pogo pins. These brass pins here in the bottom, which connects to the tablet's part when inserted. Uh, but, as I said, it's not watertight, and quite a lot of users have had problems uh, after a lot of uh, off-road juice and uh, sand and debris and stuff goes in here, and uh, basically it stops charging. So, I might have come up to a solution to it. Uh, I asked around on uh, a couple of electronics forums on Facebook, and got the tips about uh, Raytex Magic Gel. Uh, it's a gel you mix and pour over electronic components and it will be IP68, which uh, is uh, uh, watertight under pressure and they have tested it down to 100 meters. So if that works, uh, it will be more than enough for using in rain, which is, <laughs> which is what we do. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm going to mix this and uh, show you how it's done. First of all, we will open it up in the underside. You get a little, I guess it's a cover for uh, when they're mounting the cable, which side they have. They might have uh, different models for it. So this is just two ordinary screws. And there is the circuit board and the components are on the other side and uh, this little cover just it's just loose rattling around there and as you can see there is not even a gasket or any sealant or anything it's a little groove and a ridge so they fit together but uh, that's everything so we're gonna mix up this magic gel and I'm gonna fill the whole void uh, and get all the air out and that would do the job to at least protecting the circuit. What we still could get is a short circuit between the pins down here. Uh, I have uh, been thinking about treating them with the uh, ACF50, anti-corrosion formula 50. Uh, that might work, I'm not sure, but uh, we will give it a try and uh, see how it works. The instructions uh, to mix this Magic Gel 300 is quite easy. You, you mix it 50-50, uh, mix it for 15 to 30 seconds, uh, pour it in and wait 10 minutes. And uh, if the surrounding temperature is about 23 degrees Celsius, it will, it's uh, ready to use right after that. So it, uh, it's a quite a fast uh, curing time on it. And uh, as I got explained to me, it will be exactly like a gel, not, not a hard. Uh, hard uh, like uh, like if you do it in uh, some uh, more casting uh, it would not be like resin or more like silicone and this isn't it isn't so much space so I don't think we need that much that should be sufficient about six or eight millimeters of fluid and then about the same amount of the blue one. It's a little thicker.
and then we mix it 15 to 30 seconds Might knock it a little bit to get to get air, all the air bubbles out from the other side. And when this is cured and you have used it, and uh, if you decide you, you don't want it or you have a better idea, it's actually removable. So you could, could uh, save everything, <laughs> so to speak. Now I will just uh, stand this aside for 10 minutes, roughly, and we will show the consistency of it. It has now been about uh, 20 minutes uh, since I poured in uh, this magic gel. Uh, my stupid camera mount uh, broke, so I had to fix it. Uh, but as you can see, it's now a, it's now a gel, and it's not. It's a little bit sticky, but it doesn't leave uh, any residue or anything. And this is how it's supposed to be. There is no liquid or anything, but uh, just a gel. And in the RAM mount holder, as you can see, it's filled out pretty good. I might put a little bit of silicone in here. It won't do anything really, but at least there will be less water in the in the lid. So, what do you think? Will it work? I'm not sure yet, but uh, at least we will give it a try. And uh, now we have to wait for the first spring rain. It might work. As I said before, uh, those uh, pogo pins of brass in the bottom of the holder, I might uh, just dab them a little bit with this uh, ACF 50 on a Q-tip and just dab them. It would uh, will stop any corrosion for sure, but uh, it won't stop water going down and maybe do a short circuit. I'm not sure of it, but we will see. Thank you for watching.